Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a question from Leak Code called Maximum Depth of Binary Tree. It is an easy. Let's get started. Given the root of a binary tree, return its maximum depth. A binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the furthest leaf node. Example 1, we have 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. Here we would return 3 because either 3, 20, 15 or 3, 27 would give us that max depth. And example 2, we have a root node of 1. We have no left node and a right node of 2. So 1 and 2 give us a max depth of 2. What this means is that at every level, we add to our overall depth. We want to figure out how many levels there are total. How far down can we go? And there are only really ever two ways to traverse a tree, either breadth-first search or depth-first search. Since we do want to find a maximum depth, that is sort of a dead giveaway that we do want to do a DFS to find our answer. This is usually done through recursion, and that's exactly what we are going to do. So in this example, we want to find out the maximum depth, and we want to do this through a DFS recursive approach. Before starting, let's think of some base cases, right? Like what is our smallest value? If the root is none, at that point, we would just return a max depth of zero. So if root is none, we return zero. Otherwise, what do we return? So this is our base case, and for any recursive solution, we need a base case and our actual recursive call. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that because of the fact that the root node exists, it currently has a depth of 1. To find the overall depth of the binary tree, I want to find out what the depths of my left subtree are and my right subtree are. Whichever one has a greater depth, I'm going to go with that and add one from my own node to get the final answer. So what that means is I return one plus the max between the depths of my left and right subtrees. So max of self dot max depth of root dot left and self dot max depth of root dot right. This is my recursive call. And this is all there is to this solution. But let's see how this actually works. Going line by line, we first call max depth with root node 3. Since root is not none, we go into this condition. Here we return 1 plus the max of our left child. So 3's left would be 9, the max depth of 9 and the max depth of our right child, which is 20. This is going to be the max depth of our whole tree, but we can't figure this out until we evaluate the max depth of nine and 20. So let's do nine first, since that is what will be processed first. What is the max depth at root node nine? Here, we basically make another call and instead of passing three, we pass a nine. So we do the same thing again. Root node is not none, so we are in this return condition. We do one plus the max of the max depth of our left child, which is none, it does not exist, and the max depth of our right child, so depth of our right child, which is also none, non existent. Now we want to make another call for max depth none. So, what is max depth of none? Here we finally hit our base case and we return zero. So now we can finally return zero to our caller and this is zero. But now we still need to figure out the max depth of nine's right child, which is again the max depth of none. And we know if we call max depth with a root that is none, we immediately return zero. So again, we return zero here. Now we have an expression that can be evaluated. The max of 0, 0 is just 0. 1 plus 0 is just 1. So the max depth at subtree 9, this entire subtree, is 1. And we bubble back up to our caller and we return 1. So now that we've figured out the left subtree situation, we've gone all the way down and bubbled all the way back up. We now need to figure out right. 
So what is the max depth at 20? And here again, we're going to be building out the recursive call stack just like before. So this is one plus max of max depth of my left child right now. So 15 and same thing here, max depth of seven. Doing the same exact thing again, the max depth at 15 is going to be one plus the max depth of none and none again. So let me just copy paste this right here. And we know that the nuns evaluate to zero. So if we do this again, it's just going to evaluate back to zero and zero. This finally evaluates to one. And we return to our caller, which was 20, with an output of 1. And 7, the same exact thing is going to happen. We are going to do 1 plus the max between 0 and 0, which will evaluate to 1. And now we know the max depth of this entire subtree, which is 1 plus the max of 1 and 1, equaling 2. So if our root node was 20, our max depth here would be 2. But this was being called by its parent node, so we have to go back and return two over here. The max of one and two is two. And now we can finally return our statement. So now we return three over here. And this is how we solve the max depth for a binary tree. Let's go ahead and run this code. Accept it and submit. and accepted as well. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.